Alright, small disclaimer for the video. I tried doing some cinematics for the video, but apparently replay mods haven't been updated, so I couldn't do those quote unquote good um, cinematics. To the reason being 1.16.1 replay mods isn't out yet, so that's why the cinematics that I tried to make were a bit unprofessional. Anyways, onto the video. See you there. Hello, guys. Welcome to my first ever review on this channel. First, you want to make stuff clear. I was not told to do this review by any staff members. I just did out of my own curiosity. Well, this is just this review. Also, on other notes to some Lion Arc players, you may have heard that I've joined GG, and which is true. But I won't be partaking in griefs on the survival game mode, because I like that. So don't point your fingers at me if anything on the survival happens, because I won't be doing that stuff. But I'll be doing stuff like that on factions. Uh, since it's acceptable and you know it's a factions game mode so I hope y'all don't look at me differently since I joined GG I may make my own faction uh, my uh, my own faction yeah as I'm doing the playthrough but that will be early on into the mini series that I'm planning to do anyways onto the review this is a very small segment but for spawn there isn't much to talk about it's like what you expect for a normal uh, faction spawn. I mean, like, the team that they went for is a Wild West type style, which I love because it's just a good vibe in general, and I think the owner went towards, like, a Red Dead Redemption 2 style since he's, from what I've heard, he's a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is nice. But the spawn mostly looks a bit dead. I mean, there are some NPCs that are just for, like, the shop, for warps, and all that. But I really want to see more life coming to just spawn in general. I mean, I'm not expecting big stuff to come out from the release of factions, but maybe in future updates what they can add is maybe some locations near spawn or like some NPCs live in their homes or something that give you quests. And like they give you, um, if you complete the quest, you get, for example, different money. Well, not different money, just get money from them. Uh, may get a unique items only from that quest, so meaning you can only get the item from doing that quest. Also, I wish to see some sort of tavern where you can just go in there and just go order a drink or something. There, or just hanging out with your friends there, I don't know, planning some big attack or something. Just something that would make um, spawn seem more alive and more of a... giving a bigger reason why players should visit spawn more. But in general, I'll just give this a normal 7 out of 10. The gameplay is the most important feature in this game mode. Well, for starters, the ping is very good on on my playthroughs. Basically, I get over like 20 to 86 ping, sometimes on 90 um, ping on maximum. But the specs of the server is pretty well built. They update it a lot, and they have the on their web store they get donations from people, and they get a good amount. So the server is pretty well built. Now when it comes to terms of the economy, there are some small stuff which isn't fair, like uh, for example some prices are not that fair and uh, and the shop is a bit wonky, but also um, the staff team will take immediate matter into the situation, for what I mean by that is that they're gonna, in the next update, they're gonna be fixing the shop stuff and all of the bugs that were found on the server, which is very good on their side. In terms of customization, the factions, they do have a unique feature in which I just learned. As you can see, this is the upgrade menu, which is very, very nice. Obviously, the factions just started, so I'm just gonna show this off. So here are some key features about this new UI that we have here. So we have damage increase, which increases the amount of damage given to a player and I think also to mobs. I don't know about the second part, but I think it does. I mean, reinforced armor, which increases damage done to the armor, basically won't take as much damage. You have damage reduction. This is what uh, reduces the damage taken. You have the faction chest, which increases your chest size. TNT bank, which upgrades your TNT, uh, your faction TNT limit. Not yours, the whole faction thing. Um, there's faction power, which increases obviously by its name. Increases the faction power. You have this. So for you redstone geeks <laughs> out there, um, you have unbreakable redstone, which basically if there's some creepers trying to put water on your redstone, it's not going to get broken because it will prevent that. Then we have faction warps, so increases more warps to the faction. You have the spawn rate. You have the growth speed for your crops. XP drop rate for monsters. 
and the increase of faction members. The maximum level, which is level 3, um, you can get up to 10 people in your faction, which is a pretty good amount. Another good key feature on the factions customization, well, it's not really faction customization, but it's more of a rank up system for the indiv individual player. In this thing over here, as you can see, there are over six different ranks that you can unlock. You basically unlock them by paying in-game money. For example, rank one, you need to pay 25,000, and you will unlock the rewards that are listed below, and which is a good system. It has the same thing as you have in the survival game mode of Lion Arc, but I just feel that this is more of a cozy feel. There's not a lot to see here, but then there's not a lot of ranks, but it's a good amount because the prices are fair very well. I mean, the most maximum is 1.2 million for the highest rank, and the, the kits are pretty good. And this is just basically the rank-up system. Overall, the gameplay gets a solid 8 out of 10. Cosmetics are some fun ways to make your gameplay on here more exciting. There are over 100 different customization items ranging from suits to mountables. In the spawn there is a cases section. For now there is only 3 cases ranging from cosmetic, faction and voting cases. Each one of those names say it for themselves. The cosmetic section gives you a barrage of cosmetic stuff, as says its name. You can get from pets to these mountables in which are have their own particle system and just, they're just very fun ways to just ride across the western team spawn or just around your base and all that. The faction section gives you multiple unique items that you only get from this case. And it's the unique items like Lost Skull and Corrupted Lost Skull and also a magical potion. And by voting the server, you can get a vote crate key for every vote in which unlocks one of these items. For you to obtain the faction case and the cosmetic case, you either have to rank up on the server or go to the Lion Arc web store and buy yourself a key. But the only issue that I found in this is that on the web store the keys are kind of priced a bit high, ranging from 3 to 4 dollars or 290 euros to 390 euros. What I mean by this is that if I were to be the staff I would sell them for at least a bundle of 3 or a bundle of 5 for at least a price of like five dollars or something like that because i think that three dollars for one key is a lot the only reasoning that i found to this to why they did that could be because of the keys may be too op if they were to sell a big quantity of them but in general the cosmetics are actually pretty pretty nice in total i give the cosmetics a nine out of ten Overall, the factions game mode is one of my favorite game modes on the server, and I'm definitely migrating to the section of the server. So that means I'm not going to be recording as much on the survival. But I really do wish that more new players will come on here on factions, because it will make the experience way better. And overall, the staff did a one heck of a good job, and thank you very much for making this game mode a possibility. It's been in their mind for the past, I think, three months, if I'm not wrong. I really hope that you will give more life to spawn and add new items like cosmetics and just new items in future updates. And I really hope you guys like my review. This took a while to make, so getting feedback from y'all watching will be nice. And let me know what you think of the faction game mode. What did you like? To, what do you like about it? And what would you like to see? Either if you're on their Discord server, um, which the Discord server for Lion Arc will be in the description below. Um, you can go in the suggestions area and write your ideas for it. Or you can just comment down below and tell me what you think you like and what you don't like or what you want to change on the factions game mode. And a total rating for the overall factions game mode, I will give it a total 8 out of 10. Good work, Lionark. This has been Tropical Paradox and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye and stay tropical. 